Hey there, welcome to my channel. This is Ginny and I really appreciate you stopping by. Today I want to share with you how I used eyeshadows to color my background. I'm using a piece of heavyweight cardstock, a sheet of double-sided tape, this one I bought at my local craft store, and this gorgeous background dye from Pink Fresh Studio, so beautiful and intricate. After covering the cardstock with double-sided tape, I put the dye on top and ran it through my die cutting machine. Now to the eyeshadows. I'm going to use a palette which is quite old. As you can see, one color I've actually hit pen on. Working with eyeshadows can get quite messy, so you shouldn't forget to protect your work surface like I did here. Anyway, using a craft knife, I carefully remove the outline. I think it's easier to do the outline first. Then I applied the first color, which is the darkest one. At this point, I actually thought of grabbing a piece of scrap paper. Here, I sped up the coloring process. You don't need to be too careful when putting the eyeshadow on. You just should apply enough powder to fill in all the sticky spaces. I also want to mention that I like to work from darkest to lightest color. In my experience, the result is just the best when you use the darkest color first. As you can see, I just keep filling out the sticky spaces that are exposed. As I said before, it's important to use enough powder and to reapply if necessary. This technique is quite easy to do and the result is beautiful. When I'm done with my first color, I rub in the powder really well into the adhesive. Then I brush off the excess powder on some paper towel. Okay, using the tip of my craft knife again, I'm removing the release paper of the smaller parts of the pattern and move to my second darkest color. Like before, I applied a generous amount of the eyeshadow. Then I rubbed in the powder into the adhesive again. Removing the release paper actually takes most of the time especially when you use such an intricate dye like I did. It took me about half an hour to finish off the background, but the result is absolutely worth it. Now we are halfway done. Look how beautiful it looks already. Again, I'm removing the release paper and as I said before, this part takes most of the time. Now 
Now I'm putting on the next color. In the pen, this color looks pretty dark, but it's a uh, dual chrome and quite translucent. This color actually reminds me of Beautiful Iris by MAC. Okay, now only the smallest bits of spots are left, and off screen, I use the lightest color to finish off my background. I'm using a stamping tool to kind of find out the right position for my sentiment. The background is beautiful, but I wanted to tone it down a bit, so I used some vellum. The word you I die cut using a thank you die from My Favorite Things. This sentiment die is quite bold and the handwriting is gorgeous. I also used this small stamp set, while well, I actually cut the sentiment apart to use the word love only. You can absolutely use an acrylic block for stamping, but I personally find it difficult to stamp well on vellum. I used unicorn pigment ink for stamping, well, I shouldn't have done that. When folding the vellum, I had to be really careful not to touch and smudge the ink. I used pigment ink, so it was still wet. I should have white heat embossed it, or at least heat set it. But well, I didn't, so I had to be really careful. The vellum I folded on both sides and then I made some pencil marks. The ink was still wet so I really carefully started to tear the vellum. Using some strong tape, I adhered the vellum. I also die cut the word U from craft foam for some dimension and used liquid glue to adhere it. I put an acrylic block on top and then let it dry. And finally, I added it on a top folding note card. And this is how my finished card looks like. It's shiny, has a kind of patina look, and the texture is really fine too. One thing you have to keep in mind is that some powder can still transfer on your fingers. You could kind of seal it by using a fixing medium but I didn't bother as I rubbed in the powder pretty well. But just keep that in mind. Well, that's it for today and thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed my first YouTube video and I also hope you'd consider subscribing to my channel cause I'm gonna make videos all about handmade cards and I would love to have you joining me for the next one. I also want to mention that my videos will be made in English and German, so the next one will be in German. So before you go, make sure you click the subscribe button. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye!